1.14 Minecraft build hacks. Let's begin. In the 1.14 update, you can extinguish campfires, which is a new block, and get a brand new one like this, which has many, many uses that you're gonna see over this video. One of which is creating a really cool looking bridge. Because it's got all of these tacked on together, it looks much more detailed than if you were to just use a slab across a gap. And if you decorate this with a couple of fences, you can make this look like a pretty rickety bridge across a ravine of some kind. I have a couple of techniques that I want to show you in this room, one of which is the barrels that we've seen before as cabinets, but the main ones are the stripped spruce log used in a particular pattern alternating from horizontal to vertical, and it creates this really odd overlapping pattern because of the specific textures. It looks really cool as a floor design. Another one in this room, as you might be able to tell, is the fact that we've actually got smoke coming out of these hobs. And then, not only are the smoke then going through this block in just a small puff, so it actually looks like something's cooking, it then enters an extractor fan, which you often see in real kitchens, into a really cool design using the stone cutter, because you wouldn't want to use this top half, but if you have a half slab ceiling, you can have the bottom half hanging out, and then coupled with an iron trap door, it looks like a really cool extractor fan. So there's three little techniques in there. Let's move on to the next one, which of course wouldn't be complete without a bathroom. Now, I've done many bathroom designs in these kind of videos. We've got the grindstone as a toilet paper roll, and we've got a blast furnace up in the corner as a little ventilation shaft, both of which we've seen before. But the main thing is the composter as a toilet. Not because of any other reason than you can place any kind of leaves or vegetation and it kind of looks like someone hasn't flushed. And not only that, probably my favorite thing is that you can stand in it. <laughs> oh, bleh, gr bleh, gross, gross. Someone needs to flush the loo when they're done. <laughs> Moving on, shall we? You could also use the composter on top of a scaffolding block, and you can get what looks like a beehive. And you can even seal it with a pressure plate on the top, so it looks like a proper honeypot. You can surround that with flowers, and then even get some custom Minecraft heads that look like bees to complete the set. The overall effect is really, really nice. Another build hack using the campfires is that you can put it underneath magma blocks and lava and it actually looks like it is red hot and boiling because of the smoke that comes out of it. And if you put some hay underneath them, you can vary the heights that they go to make it look a bit more realistic. Next up, using the campfire again, but in its extinguished form, you can use these as a pergola or a decoration to any kind of house. I've used it in a completely trap door house to make it look like a little shack that you might find on the road or, you know, like a shed or something like that to make it seem really rickety. And I've even added a bell on the end there as well. I think the campfire is extraordinary and we're going to see many more designs using it. For example, in this room here, where we've got a bathroom or a utility room, we've actually used the campfires as like a bath mat. This is quite common in ultra modern bathrooms. You have somewhere to stand. I think that works really, really well. But also we've got the new banner patterns on some item frames and they actually look more like towels than anything else. So this could even be a laundry room. We've got a blast furnace here with a glass pane and an item frame on top of a loom and that looks a lot like a tumble dryer or a washing machine for all of these things and it fits rather well with scaffolding which looks like sort of a bamboo storage area. All of those together make a very nice room. Another use for the composter is actually as a log block. Obviously it's hollow in the middle, but if you cover up those entrances up here, you can actually use this as a palm tree design. So you can see it's because of this horizontal pattern and it's got that jungle-ish texture, it works really well in this situation. If you like building cities and you've got loads of roads, using the top of the loom looks a lot like a drain and you could hide it by using the new stone stairs 
underneath the sidewalk here and you can still see the drain. And the same here if you wanted it a bit closer to the side of the road. It's up to you, but either way, you could both, in both cases, fill it with some water to make it seem like it's overflowing if there's been a storm in your city. A more obvious use for the campfire is that you have it going up a chimney, but instead of having a hollow chimney, you've got one block tall, and then you just hide a second fireplace at the top, so it looks like the smoke is traveling all the way through it. The new block of bamboo works really well as the stem to most plants. So you could create some small trees like this and do multiple heights to make yourself a really nice vegetation garden. Next up, the lectern can be placed in the middle of a desk with a book on the top to make it look like you've actually got something to read on your desk. You can then hide that with some trap doors so that it's not so obvious what it is. And you can also use the lectern as a chair itself. A bit more on that later on. Using scaffolding with a campfire on the top looks a lot like a tiki torch. You can create hanging baskets using the sweetberry bush because there's no gap between the bottom of the fence and the plant, like there is with most flowers. There are some more chair designs that are possible in 1.14, one of them using the scaffolding with a pressure plate on top and a trap door. Next, with a campfire with a trap door on the back, which is probably one you weren't expecting. This might look really good in sort of a log setting or a pub setting. And as we saw earlier, the lectern with a trap door on the back. Again, using the campfires, you can create some telegraph poles or telephone poles or electric wires, whatever you want to call them, with some string attached between them to create a modern telecommunication network. All you have to do is make some spruce fence poles with a few spruce fence gates and then the campfires on the top and make sure that they're all in a line. Again, using the extinguished campfire, this is such a unique block, you can actually create what looks like railroads. Now, it's not quite the right texture, but because of this design of the model, it really does look like some wheels would fit down the middle here, and I think it works quite well. Or, like we did earlier, you could put them on the edge of your buildings as an overhang. It's got a really nice under pattern as well that makes it look like it is supported. And on this one, you can see that I've used the other side of the loom block as a foundation layer because it actually kind of looks like it's got foundation brick color. So that works quite well with the bricks themselves to create a building. Mix all of that together, you've got yourself a small village train station. Mix in some birch leaves or any other kind of leaves with the sweet berry bushes and you can create a whole line or farm that looks like grapes or some sort of farm for berries in general. The loom block actually looks a lot like a radio. If you put two note blocks either side and maybe decorate it with a button, it does look a lot like a full blown radio. And you could even have a jukebox behind it so that it can play music. Expanding on this idea, you can create some speakers using the loom block as well on top of some lecterns and you can create a TV in a similar fashion that we've seen before on this channel, but this time using the lectern as a bit of a stand. Mix all those together, it looks like you've got a home cinema system. Now there's a lot going on in this one in particular, but this is a nice workshop design. We've obviously got some hanging lanterns, we've got some tripwire hooks and cauldrons, all your basic stuff, but there's a few more tricks that I want to show. One of which is this stand here, which we've actually seen before with the scaffolding. But because the walls are made out of spruce, there is actually some barrels behind them. So you could actually create a functional storage space that looks like a bunch of shelves. If you put an item frame with the item behind it, you can then access it and have the storage of said thing behind it. Do this multiple times and you've got yourself a functioning set of shelves. Also in this room, you can see we've got a bell hanging. We've got a smithing table integrated into the wall, both here and here, because it actually looks like there's tools hanging on them. So by having them here, it looks like we've got a bit of a better workshop going on. There's also barrels hidden in the walls. You can see it's got a slightly different texture, which I think works really well with spruce in general, but then you don't have to have some ugly chests in here. You just have barrels. We also have the top of a barrel, which looks a lot like a cellar door. Mix all of these things together and you have a really clean looking workshop space. 
A cool use of the lecterns mixed in with the grindstone is this particular fireplace design where you have the lecterns sitting like so opposite each other with the grindstone sitting on top and that mixed in with the shape of the andesite stairs makes a really nice effect but of course you've got to have the campfire here and if you have got a fireplace why not stick an extinguished campfire next to it to make it look like stored logs barrels also make an excellent use barrels also make an excellent foundation block for any walls that you want to decorate with a two-tone thing because you can also access them as storage the smithing table also has a really unique design for the top which works well as flooring and you could mix that in with any of the new blocks blocks. In particular, the blast furnace. Again, using the campfire block, you can hide it underneath lots of logs and even under magma blocks, etc., to create a full-on sauna room. Obviously, the more campfires you have, the more steam you have, and the more realistic it looks. But be careful because all those particles do cause a little bit of lag. One of my favourite designs from a previous episode was being able to create scaffolding sewers, but the problem was you had to have them fully engulfed in water. Not anymore, so if we pop down here, which is just a series of scaffolding so that you can just lower down yourself into it, you can now push yourself downwards to a crawling position using a trapdoor or a piston which allows you to crawl through one high spaces, which means you can actually crawl through an entire sewer system. And with some carefully placed staircases, you can create tunnels that interchange and cross section without ever standing up. You may need to use trap doors like this, but you could create a pretty filthy scenario. You can only imagine where this water's come from and end up somewhere else in your build or your city having crawled through the sewers, which is something that wasn't possible ever before. Using the extinguished campfire once more, you can actually create a completely new kind of mine shaft design by adding the campfire on top of the oak fence and then having a lantern hanging from it, or you could have a lectern that is turned the other way. The only problem is it is visibly red from the other side. And finally, there are a bunch of torch designs that are now possible by utilizing the campfire on top of a lectern. As so, the simple version, or on a little bit of a plinth to give it some height, also surrounded in signs, or in trapdoors themselves if you want to cover up the fire. All of which produce a lot of smoke, and also you can create a pretty cool support beam by using reversed lecterns. In this scenario where we've got a really long hallway, the two work together really nicely. But again, if you turn around, the effect is somewhat ruined. Well, that's it for today's 1.14 build hacks. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is incredibly difficult to keep coming up with these little tricks and tips using all the new blocks. Obviously, there was a lot of campfire use in this one, but that's because that's a new block from when I made the other videos. But I managed to squeeze out a few more ideas using some of the new blocks in various different ways. It's very exciting whenever we get any block at all because it means that you can get creative with it in ways that you didn't expect. Which one is your favourite? Mine was in particular this bridge that we saw right at the start. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and goodbye!